Bill Bunting with NOAA's Storm Prediction Center located in Norman, Oklahoma is joining us this morning. Good morning, Bill. Welcome to Fox Weather. We are so glad to have you, especially on this very significant day that's currently unfolding. Based on the latest soundings, what is what is the thinking in terms of what are we most likely to see later on today? Well, it's good to be with you. And uh, unfortunately, the concerns that we've uh, been stressing for a few days now appear to be coming together. Uh, our, our area of greatest concern over the next, say, 12 hours extends roughly from far eastern Arkansas, central and or middle and western Tennessee, southward through much of Mississippi, northwest Alabama. That's where the greatest risk of strong tornadoes will be uh, present. However, there's at least some threat for severe thunderstorms over a really large area from the Ohio Valley uh, south across the southeast U.S. So it's, it's uh, you know, it's February is typically one of our quieter months. But when the conditions come together, we can have tornadoes any time of the year. Unfortunately, we've seen that just recently. And so folks really need to be prepared for uh, the storms that may develop over the next few hours. And Bill, you guys there uh, use your words very carefully and saying strong tornadoes, of course, uh, we're talking about that threat later this afternoon. And when we look at those outlooks from the Storm Prediction Center, that hatched area, it's not always used, but occasionally it is. So explain to us what leads to the decision to throw that hatched area out where some of these tornadoes could be, as you say, strong, maybe stronger than EF2. Yeah, that's a great question. We use the hatched area to denote areas where we think the risk of EF2 or greater uh, tornadoes uh, will exist. And that's basically of an intensity that could cause structural damage to uh, most homes and, and buildings that would be in the path. Our forecasters look at several ingredients, uh, the wind shear in the lower atmosphere, the amount of instability, uh, they look at the storm mode. Will it be isolated storms, which are more likely to be a strongly tornadic versus a line of storms where you could get brief spin-ups, but the intensity tends to be on average a bit lower. All of those conditions are looked at. And as you mentioned, we don't use uh, words like enhanced risk or we don't use forecasts of uh, higher strength tornadoes very often. When we do, uh, we hope that folks will take heed and prepare accordingly. Mm. And Bill, this part of the country, certainly they're used to severe weather, but especially in February, I mean, folks are in school, they're in work, it's going into the afternoon hours. What would you like residents to know heading into the next couple of hours? I mean, a lot of locations down in this part of the country, they don't have basements or storm shelters. Great point. You know, time and time again, what makes a difference in terms of surviving severe weather is having a plan, knowing where to go, having multiple ways of receiving warnings, and then most importantly, putting that plan into action when storms uh, are approaching your area. Don't wait until you see it. These storms are gonna be moving fast, 40, maybe 50 miles an hour. Uh, when you get the warning for your area, take action at that point. Very good to note, and uh, certainly people preparing there in the South this morning. Bill Bunting with the Storm Prediction Center out of Norman, Oklahoma. Appreciate you joining us on Fox Weather Sunrise. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.